Well, an Albuquerque therapist accused of sexually abusing a teenage patient faced a judge today. And the question in front of that judge, should Krishna Vimalapalli be released from jail? You see, both sides made their arguments, and the answer is he's getting out. However, there are still some very strict conditions. Cassie Foote has a closer look at the judge's ultimate decision. Krishna Vemalapalli was first booked into jail about a week ago. Today, prosecutors argued to keep him there. Vemalapalli is accused of sexually abusing a 15-year-old patient. He started by kind of touching her innocently um, on the leg or the thigh, and then he would gradually move his way upwards. And then he would also make sexually suggestive comments. According to court documents, Vemala Pali had treated that patient since she was 11 years old. The alleged victim told her parents she was being abused in March, and she reportedly recorded a confession during one of her therapy sessions. During the recordings, the defendant not only admitted to touching her, but he also admitted to it being sexually motivated. Prosecutors argued Vemala Pali was a danger to the community. They say the accusations against him, along with veiled threats, reportedly made on that recording. You tell somebody, I'm going to have to release all your records so everyone's going to know what you've been doing. Prove he's a danger. His defense attorney said he could be safely released. What this appears to be is an isolated incident with an isolated relationship and there's no indication that this is uh, spreading on this, this particular scenario. He noted Vemala Pali is not seeing any clients right now. He only saw clientele through this agency and so he has no and, and he resigned. Um, as this um, broke. So there is no communication with um, any patient at this point. And we can imagine that under the circumstances, um, we're not going to pursue that. Judge Britt Baca Miller sided with the defense. So I am going to deny the state's motion for preventative detention. She said strict conditions of release should keep everyone safe. That includes GPS monitoring. Mr. Romolo Pauli, you're not going to be released until pretrial services has a GPS monitor available. He is also not supposed to return to the clinic where the alleged abuse happened. He can't have contact with the alleged victim or any potential witnesses in the case. And the judge said he's to avoid contact with kids under age 18. If he starts providing therapy again, he can't have anyone under the age of 18 as a patient without the court first holding a hearing to grant him permission. Cassie Foote, KOB4.